To start this lure, we'll put on a base coat of opaque white. I'm going to follow that up with a coat of opaque yellow. The white base coat helps the yellow stand out more. Sometimes the tip on the airbrush dries and clogs, so you have to clean that to keep going. I make sure the whole lure is covered in the opaque yellow. The next color I use is detailed orange, and I'm going to put this about halfway down the lure. I think after painting this lure, I'm going to do a thorough cleaning of the airbrush. I'm going to use opaque red starting at the top and blending into the orange. To create the tiger stripes on the lure, I trace the lure on a piece of cardstock, draw out the tiger stripes, and then cut them out. To paint the tiger stripes, I'm going to use the more translucent shading gray. Sometimes it takes a little bit to line up the stencil with the lure before spraying. I try to go lightly with the shading gray. I don't want the color to be too dominant, but I also don't want it to be runny. I'm going to use opaque black for the back of the lure and it'll blend it into the stripes. With opaque black still in the brush, I darken the eye sockets. I mask out part of the stencil so I can add some detail to the gill plate. I try to sparingly spray the opaque black into the stencil. At this point, it's time to super glue and attach the eyes.
I get the clear coat tools together and begin mixing at a one to one ratio. I mix the clear coat components for three to five minutes. Then I apply it to the lure starting at the top and working my way down. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.